Hey guys, JD from Eveswood. So we all know these basic metalworking tools, right? The hammer and the dolly. Very useful tools for bodywork and general metal shaping. Getting good with these tools means that you're going to need less body filler in the end, and that is always a good thing, my friends. This is the Eastwood 7-piece body and fender set. It includes the basics for what you'll need to get started. Let's take a look at which kind of scenario each of these dollies and each of these hammers is going to be best used in. First things first, as far as picking a dolly, it's all about matching the shape of your dolly to the shape you want to impart into your metal. That's really it. It really is that simple, but these dollies each have a ton of different curves to choose from. Each edge, each side, and each face is going to have a different curve and therefore a different option for you. Take the general purpose dolly for example. This is sometimes referred to as the universal dolly, the utility dolly, or the railroad dolly. We call it the general purpose dolly because it just has so many shapes to it. Gentle curve on one side, tighter on the other. There's also the edges and that could be good to work into a tight spot. The way this is shaped, it's also going to give you a nice handle to work with. Next up, this is going to be your heel dolly. It's named that because it looks like the heel of a shoe. But you can see, you get different shapes to work with here as well. You get a thin, a flat side, you also get a contour on the other side as well as a contour on the face of the heel dolly. That has some shape to it as well and you get 90 degree angles on the bottom edges. Perfect for a corner where two panels meet. This is your wedge dolly, sometimes referred to as the comma dolly, but this gives you a wide area that starts out with an aggressive curve at the fat end and opens up as you go along. This gives you a ton of options depending on where you hold this up to your panel. Also, since it's skinny on the end, it can work into tight corners and edges, like at the bottom of a curved fender. Last but not least, we have the double-ended dolly. This is similar to the general purpose dolly, but again, you just get more shapes to work with here. Curves in all directions on both sides, and just like the general dolly, this gives you a nice handle to hold on to while you're panel beating. Moving on to our hammers now. This hammer over here is going to be your shrinking hammer. It has a square waffle face to it. Those little points on the face grab the metal and pull it together as you're striking, which is very important as almost every other hammer out there will stretch metal. Also, the square face of this hammer is great for working into a square corner. The round hammers can't reach deep into a corner like the shrinking hammer can. The next hammer we're going to look at is the cross chisel hammer in the middle here. This hammer is super thin, comes to a point in a straight line, which looks just like a chisel. Again, this is going to be great for working into those tight corners and reinforce body lines or style lines like you'd see down the side of most classic cars. It also works great for folded over areas like the edge of a wheel well or a door skin. Lastly with this kit, this is going to be your utility pick hammer. It comes to a cone shaped point, sort of like a strawberry. This is what you want for accuracy. This really shines for knocking down high spots with a few precise light taps. Now, all these hammers, you'll notice on the back side you have just a regular convex body hammer. This is what you'll be using most often, at least in my experience. This has a very gentle curve on the striking area, and that's so if you hit off square a little bit, you're not digging those hard edges of the hammer into the metal and making lines. This is on the back side of every hammer, so it's always right there with you. This kit is really nice. Everything you need to get started. The hammer handles are fiberglass, which will last you a long time, and they have a little bit of impact cushioning as well, making them a little bit easier on the hand when you're using them for a long time. The dollies are just as nice, very solid to hit against, tons of different shapes to choose from with just these four options, and all the surfaces come with a nice, smooth, high polish. Very important for metalwork, as any imperfections in your dolly will impart to the metal. Solid kit all around. I want you guys to keep in mind, this is just the basics for what you'd use each of these tools for. We have a ton of different dolly and hammer shapes available, and this kit only really scratches the surface with the most common stuff. I also want you guys to keep in mind that technique is difficult to nail down for exactly how to use these perfectly. It takes a lifetime to master, but we do have some basic technique videos out there on our channel for you to check out if that's what you're interested in. Also, this isn't the only option when it comes to pulling out dents. You could also use the stud welder. You can really get some speed going with the bullseye pick. And if you're working with a painted panel, we have a bunch of PDR stuff out there as well. Definitely worth checking out depending on what situation you're in. But that is going to do it, guys. 
Make sure you check out our channel. We're giving away a MiG-180 Weller at 500,000 subscribers. We have a ton of how-to videos posted on our channel you're definitely going to enjoy. Make sure you head over there and check that out. We'll have the seven-piece body and fender set linked below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm JD. Keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.